Today I'm going to show you guys how to apply lipstick on dry leaves, high pigmented leaves, or thin leaves. If you have any of these, I got you covered. You don't need a lip liner, plumper, or anything else. Just a lipstick you like. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. First thing first, we will talk about the basics. Your lips are hydrated and you want to get that classic full red lip look. At this stage, you should prepare your skin around your lips to make your lip color stand out. People tend to forget this step, but I always tell people how important it is to apply concealer or foundation around their lips. It makes a huge difference for creating a sophisticated look. If you compare your lips with and without concealer, you will see that one looks more delicate. After that, you are going to start from the inner corner of your lips. There are multiple ways to apply lipstick and there is no such a wrong or right way. But my makeup academy and all makeup tutors recommend starting from the inner corner of our lips. Since it is hard to reach once you apply lipstick to the middle. Once you reach the inner corner of your lips, you should slowly swipe towards the middle of your lips. At this stage, you don't have to worry about drawing a perfect line. You can draw multiple times, but not too many, since it might look too patchy. If the lipstick lines is too obvious, I found that it makes the whole look a bit old-fashioned, so I like blurring the edge a little. After perfectly applying on the lower lip, now I'm moving to the upper lip. For the upper lip, I personally think that starting from the Cupid bow is a bit risky since it might create an unnatural look. So I like starting from the inner corner of my lips at this stage too. Starting from the inner corner and then swipe it inward. You could apply a few times and then try to find if there is any empty part and fill in that with lipstick. If you have crack or dry lips, you might have noticed your lips get flaky after applying lipstick. You might have tried to put a lip balm on, but it didn't work. The best thing to do at this stage is to use a lip mask. Lip masks are ultra thick and ultra hydrating formulas that restore dry and cracked lips. You can put a lot of it on before going to bed or a bit before you apply a lipstick. The lip mask I'd like to introduce today is Arduk Care Plus Party Lip Mask. It's a rich lip on lip mask which helps nourish the lips for an extra boost of moisture with cocoa butter, hibiscus flower extract, vitamin C, and vitamin E. It does not feel slippery or have that cold feeling but just sticks onto your lips which I love about. I got this product from the Flip app and you can purchase I Do Care products and many other brands products there easily. It is a platform that emphasizes that everyone can make money by posting their own reviews or even just by shopping. I purchased multiple products from I Do Care and this lip mask has become my favorite product from them. If you'd like to shop it through Flip, you can download the Flip app for free today and use code IDC30 for 30% of your first I do care purchase on the app. Now let's move on to hyperpigmented lips. My subscriber Divya has hyperpigmented lips and has kindly offered to be a lip model for this video. If you look at her lips, the inner corner of her lips are darker than the rest of her lips and the color of them are uneven. Firstly, I'm going to apply a lip mask since her lips are a bit dry. After removing the surface layer of the lip mask, I'm going to apply a layer of concealer. In order to create an even canvas, I will apply a bit of concealer around her lips. These steps can allow you to create an opaque, clean canvas as well as improving the pigmentation of the lipstick you are going to use. After blending the concealer, we are going to apply a base lipstick. Base lipsticks are lipsticks with the shade closer to your natural skin color. For her, more like a nude beige. You are going to apply it to make your lips one shade. If you apply other lipsticks of your choice, having this face layer will enhance your other lipstick shade, make your look more sophisticated, and finish it. After that, I will finally be applying a red lipstick. 
just as I have done previously. I'm going to start from the inner corner. Sometimes you can accidentally draw the liner over your natural lip lines. If so, you can use a Q-tip with a bit of concealer and swipe it over the lip line part. At this stage, if you find it difficult to apply lipstick and draw sophisticated lines, use a thin lip brush or concealer brush instead. It should be flat and has a bit of tension. It will help you to draw the lines you want a lot easier. You don't have to try and make a perfect line all at once. You can just slowly start filling your bottom lips. Since our lip lines run vertically, if you'd like to increase the pigmentation of the lipstick, it is better to apply a lipstick vertically by filling in the vertical lines and then try to blur the edge to make a softer look. After that, open your mouth slightly and check if there's any empty part of your inner lips that have been made. Do the same for your upper lips. Start drawing the lines from the inner corner and then try to fill in the upper lips. I'm not trying to draw a perfect line. Instead, I'm using a Q-tip to make the lines clearer. This does not require any professional technique. And even if you're a makeup beginner, you can get a sophisticated full lip look. Now it's the final look. If you compare before and after, you could see how it has changed. If you want more pigmented lip look, you could apply more layers of it. Lastly, I'm going to talk about how to apply lipstick on thin lips. My subscriber Sabrina has thin lips and she has kindly helped out my video being a lip model. If you see her lips, her lips are relatively thin compared to Divya's and mine. Her bottom lips are asymmetrical. What I would do is I'm going to make her lips symmetric and try to make it fuller but in a natural way. Since her lips are also a bit dry, I put a bit of lip mask and then remove the surface layer of it. As I'm going to overdraw lip lines, it is crucial to make a clean and even canvas. So I'm going to apply a bit of concealer around her lips as well. And then draw the lines with a nude beige lipstick I used previously to guide the lines I'd like to draw. To draw the exact the lines I want, I'm using a flat brush again. Now I have made her lips symmetrical and overdrew the lips a little. And then I'm going to fill in them with a red lipstick. I'm going to make the bottom lip fuller than the upper lips as it would be more ideal for a natural look. I'm starting from the inner corner as always and try to follow the guidelines I drew previously. I slowly fill in the lips with the lipstick product on the brush and then add more pigmentation to it. For thin lips, I found that instead of blurring the edge, drawing the obvious line to fill in the asymmetric lips would be better since we are creating a fake line so I'm not really blurring the edge, especially on the bottom lips. After finishing the bottom lips, I'm doing the same for the upper lips. But for upper lips, since the cupid bow lines on the upper lips are obvious, I'm not drawing the lines there as it would make them look more mature and unnatural. So I would just leave the lines more transparent. If you compare before and after, you can see a huge difference. The lips are fuller but in a natural way. So this was all about how to apply lipstick on many different types of lips. I hope you find this video very helpful. Shout out to my subscribers, Sivia and Sabrina for being models for this video. Thank you so much. If there's anything you want to know about lipstick application or even lip product recommendation, please let me know on the comment below. I'd like to know about that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.